Drinking overnight. Huh? Who are you listening to? Henry the Blasian. Brand new. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the No Money Spent series, man. Now jumping into episode 14 of our Broke Adventures. And ladies and gentlemen, let me just start off by saying all these events that have been going on has been the best possible thing that can happen to a No Money Spent player. And y'all know I wouldn't say that unless I had a story behind it. So guys, a lot of people, a lot of you guys on Twitter, on YouTube, in the comments section have been telling me to try out triple threat offline because apparently there was players just flying out of that mode so guess what I hopped into Triple Threat offline. Now, I did buy a couple cards, Rex Chapman and David West, mainly because I was grinding XP because as you can see on the top right, I'm also level 32, but we'll get into that just a little bit later. As most of you guys know, there's a pink diamond John Wall in here. So guess what? It took me five Triple Threat offline games, and I'll put the screenshot or little video clip in front of you for you guys, and Pink Diamond John Wall just like that, ended up showing up when i tell you guys the luck on the no money spent so far has been insane it's been insane i'm so glad i didn't get that bryant reeves because that card is useless i'm glad it wasn't aaron gordon we really got blessed with ping diamond john wall off the bat now i wasn't gonna waste any time i didn't want to sit around and show you guys the card for this new episode so i threw that card in the auction house right away because we all know he's only gonna continue to drop in value so today not only are we gonna be looking at how much our Kawhi Leonard sold for because for those of you guys that don't remember we put up a Kawhi Leonard with 16 Hall of Fame badges in the auction house now keep in mind it wasn't really the greatest badges so I'm not expecting anything crazy if I lost MT somehow I'm gonna be a very unhappy person but I'm pretty sure we made MT either way before we get into today's episode man if you guys are new to the channel please consider hitting that subscribe button y'all been showing insane love on the series y'all been supporting the journey I seriously appreciate it and as always if you want the next episode let's get 2,000 likes on this video as soon as possible but ladies and gentlemen it is finally that time you can see there is two completed auctions in my auction outcomes and the verdict is Kawhi Leonard sold for 275,000 MT now, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I was more hoping for like 340, 350, so a little bit disappointed for all the badges that I gave up, but again, I kind of saw this coming because I didn't give him Limitless, it wasn't Clamps, it wasn't any sort of special badge that would have people going crazy. I'll still take 275k though, because we bought him for 190k, so that's about an 80k profit from Hall of Fame badges, and then our John Wall, it sold for 56,350 MT, so now we're sitting at 460 65,000 MT on the no money spent in previous years guys I came nowhere close to making this amount of MT especially with the kind of squad that I had and it was funny because a lot of you guys in the comment section of the last episode were like HTB just raised the price of Ping Diamond Drexler. Guys, this card was phenomenal. Y'all saw what he was doing, and the objective for today's episode, ladies and gentlemen, is to finally come home to Pink Diamond Lillard. I ended up playing one game off camera, so now we're officially one, two, three, four, five, six games away from a guaranteed Pink Diamond. On top of that, we still got the chance to spin the wheel to get the Embiid or Michael Red, so... There's a lot of potential for another crazy episode right here, but first things first, man, we got some packs to open up, some of them from leveling up, some of them from the hoop miss. If I end up getting another exchange pack, that's just gonna be crazy. Now on top of that, I did tell you guys that I was gonna get some challenges out of the way, and I did end up getting one out of the way. I didn't get this recent one out of the way, or this one right here, which just came out yesterday, I believe. I honestly just have not been in the greatest mood the last couple days, but I'm trying to kind of power through everything, but Let's go ahead, let's hop into the pack market right here and let's get things done. Starting with the Hoop Miss packs and then we'll get to the NBA 75 because I'm really hoping we can clutch it out and get ourselves a Ping Diamond Dominique Wilkins. I need something crazy to happen here for some uplifting. I'm so tired of getting this snowflake ball because it's absolutely useless. Next Hoop Miss pack here. Let's go ahead, let's open this bad boy up. It's gold. That's another chance to get a present and we only get some candy canes. So this streak of getting weight I apparently have too many. Is that even possible? Wait, it only takes me one candy cane to get a present? Am I seeing this right? Oh no, I just got a league pack. I just wasted that candy cane. 
that that was not a good look that's unfortunate i didn't even realize you could have too many candy canes so maybe i've already got three i'm gonna have to check my collection because I don't remember collecting that many at that point, but our streak of collecting presents every episode has officially ended. Let's see what's inside this diamond shoe. Usually there's a couple boosts, man. If I can see a speed with ball, that would be lovely. What? And it's actually going to be all gold ones. I was expecting them all to be diamond ones. That's kind of unfortunate. Maybe we'll walk away here with a nice shoe and it's going to be a converse. Definitely not the most popular one, but it is what it is, man. Dominique Wilkins. I need to see a pink diamond or at the very least diamond glow out of this to feel better. And it's going to be an amethyst. Definitely not too shabby. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, they got rid of the amethyst shake. The only time it's going to shake is if it's a card you've never had before. So in this case, I'm very curious who this is going to be. From the Miami Heat. Oh, is this like a series one card like way back? Like a base set? It is Tim Hardaway. I doubt this card has any value, but I'm still going to throw them in the auction house because, again, you can't really pull them from regular packs anymore. Let's go ahead. Let's throw those contracts on Clyde Drexler. That man deserves the super max and then some. But it really is crazy to think that we're sitting on 466,000 MT on the no money spent. I'm pretty sure I can afford a LeBron James at this point. And honestly, had I been more patient, I probably would have been able to buy a LeBron James and then throw a bunch of badges on it. But at that point, we already bought Kawhi, had to take advantage of the opportunity. Now, if this card ends up somehow dropping in price this week because we are gonna be getting new cards, I will get this Kawhi on my team. All I gotta do is wait until Thursday when they announce the cards, people always panic and they sell everything. And that's the best time to buy cards as a no money spend player. I ended up trying out this Rex Chapman like you guys recommended. And honestly, I'm not the hottest on the card. David West, another card that's whatever. Rudy Fernandez is surprisingly a very good Ruby card if you're literally just starting out in the game. Now, one thing I am curious about is if they've modified the draft mode whatsoever, because we know there's a Pink Diamond Drummond in there, but I don't think there's actually any event cards whatsoever in there, similar to Unlimited. So right now, there's not really a reason for me to get these out of the way. If we finish clutch time and the event is still going, I'm definitely just going to jump into Triple Threat online or offline just to make as much MT as I can before the event goes away. Because again, this is a big time blessing if you're no money spent. And since we're sitting on 466k MT, I feel like treating myself because for those of you guys that don't know we got some new packs and there he is man king dirk the og of the no money spent for those of you guys that have been watching since 2k19 you know what he gets into unfortunately this card's actually terrible there's not a single stat besides his jump shot that is impressive to me but guess what i'm still gonna open a single pack right here and we're gonna see if we can get blessed we got some free MT from that John Wall. Now let's see if anything good can come out of it. And that is why you don't open packs, ladies and gentlemen. That was just terrible. Let's stop wasting time, though. It's time to bring this Damian Lillard home. Scottie Pippen, get on the roster. You're no Kawhi Leonard, but hopefully you can get the job done. I'm actually going to check super quickly if there's any better versions of any of the cards I already have because... You guys know if I can get any sort of low-key snipe on a card that's got an extra Hall of Fame badge or a shoe and a contract, I'm going to try to do it. The thing about my Draymond, though, he is more than enough, and it doesn't look like there's any up. Whoa, Bill Russell with seven Hall of Fame badges. What badges are those? Okay, so he's got Drop Stepper, and he's got Box. Definitely not worth the extra 20,000 MT, but... I'm always hawking for cards with extra badges because some people really do throw them on these budget cards. In that case, that's not going to happen. I'm just going to quickly check Scotty Pippen. And if there's nothing there, we're just going to jump into clutch time. Now, one question I do have for you guys is while this event has been going on, which mode have you been on the most? Triple threat offline, online, clutch time. Y'all let me know in the comments. Has it been good to you? Have you gotten blessed like I have? Because so far, every mode I've jumped into, I've gotten the card, which makes me very tempted to jump into triple threat offline because Paul George, he's still worth like 100,000 MT. That's definitely not MT you can just pass by when you're a no money spent player, but... I'm not seeing any sort of good holographic Scotties. I'm not seeing any shoes. I'm not seeing any extra Hall of Fame badges. So it's looking like it's going to be quiet on that front. But that's okay because we shouldn't be wasting time or our MT. We should be getting this Lillard. So once again, let me throw Scotty in here because he doesn't want to stay in there. And let's jump right into a game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another HTB gameplay up against Pink Diamond John Wall. He's got Evan Mobley. He's got the Scotty Pippen as well. Right around that screen, I'm going for the poster. Come on. Y'all think I'm playing when it comes to this Clyde Drexler. One of the best budget cards in the game I've started to realize. 
He plays so good. Oh, Scott, you got to play defense there, Steve. I'll put Clyde Drexler on John Wall if I have to. Because, again, I know I can trust Clyde. Play defense. There we go. Good defense. That's definitely going to be a shot clock violation. Get that rebound. We out in transition, boys. Boom. Missile to the corner. I thought that would work out. I see Clyde there. He's trying to bait me a little bit. Has he to that screen. Cross it over. Stopping. Pull from the four-point line. Clyde Drexler. The best budget shooting guard. I used to say it was Eddie Jones. But for the price that this card's going for, he's just too nice to me. Get there. Good defense there by Steve Francis. Donkey on the boards. Never mind. It's going to be Scottie Pippen. Draymond's the playmaker. Where are we going? Slow things down a little bit. Swing the ball. Let me get a screen. He's jumping a little early. Stopping. Cross him up. Thank you. Into a moving mid-range. That's Clyde Drexler for you, man. Eight points already. It was a nice little run there, but this guy eventually scores. Luckily, we've got the off-ball deodorant in our back pocket. Clyde, where are you going? There we go. Around the Bill Russell screen. Another three-pointer, and it's going down. I'm not going to lie to you. His jumper is up there with Kawhi Leonard. Like, his jumper is actually so good. He's going to pass it inside. Wait for the pass. Good defense. Good defense. This guy's not taking any smart shots, and it's looking like it's going to be an easy game one for us here. Scottie Pippen, I'll give you a little bit of love next time. Just go for the dunk, man. I hope this guy throws his John Wall in the auction house because it definitely should not stay on his roster, especially when you're a ping diamond like that and you really can't get your man a bucket. It's not a good look. He's going to keep firing. I'm going to just get that rebound. I'm going to get one more bucket here. Never mind. The timer is up, and that's game one out of the way. The only way this episode gets better is if we lock in another ping diamond on top of Lillard. All right, boys. If we can land on that Joel Embiid, that's a guaranteed forty to 50,000 MT, and I want it, man. I want it. Oh, oh. No way! Oh, that's very unfortunate. But I mean, on the bright side, we've made 100,000 alone from getting free cards, which is why, again, I will say this, if you're a no money spent player, if you're not taking advantage of the situation given to us right now, I don't know what to tell you. Let's jump into another game. All right, man, jumping into game number two, I'm seeing Patrick Ewing, and I'm not too worried. Yet again, you cannot underestimate teams in clutch time. He's got that John Wall, finesse that. Not on a good enough screen there. Oh my goodness, why is our game so flinchy right now? He's in the air, we got that layup. Now he does have Clyde Drexler and he's gonna go into his defensive settings right here so we gotta respect it we're gonna have to push the pace here I don't know why my players feel so sluggy this game kind of weird Clyde Drexler on the catch and shoot though that's definitely going down you not go miss a jumper for me that card's been so good what an unexpected snipe that ended up being such a key piece on our roster. He's going to have to push the pace here if he wants a bucket. Keep your hands up. Good defense there, Dre. That's not working out, and that's a shot clock violation. Defense wins championships, boys. Now, I'm going to run this play for Clyde, but hopefully it ends up actually working out for Scotty. Because I'd like Scotty to get a bucket, but if Clyde's all the way out there, that is way beyond the four-point line, and he's got it like that. Come on, Dre, you know what to do. Finesse that. Thank you. See you later. Pull for four. Steve Francis. I need somebody else to knock down a four-pointer for me, man. That's Scotty open in the corner. Not sure why, but you know we're going to knock that down with him as well. Again, even though his jumper's not the fastest, they made it so much better this year than it was last year. Good defense. Throw it inside. Good defense. Good defense. Bill, jump at that if you got to. Do not let this man mash us in the paint. Look at what he's trying to do. You are not going to hoop with that John Wall. That man is getting boxed. Go to Clyde, stop it. Pop it from the four-point line again. Best budget shooting guard in the game. No, sir. No, sir. We locked that up. We're locking that up. Good defense there, Stevie. He's got four seconds to make something happen. He's got to throw up a sloppy shot. He's playing defense. One second. That's either a shot clock violation or a free rebound, which, by the way, I'll take. There we go. Slow down. A little behind the back. Step back. Thank you. Oh, I thought I had that. Missiles to the corner, that does not work out. That's tough. Hit that screen, though. Scotty Pippen, bless us. Bang! Make him throw it inside. Good defense there by Billy, and we run in. Scotty in the corner. Dimers. Bang! I didn't even realize this guy has pink diamond Rudy Gay. His team was actually really nice besides the Patrick Ewing. That, ladies and gentlemen, is another game out of the way. We win 30-8. to eight. An absolute flooding. Honestly, surprising with how nice his team was, but my team was letting it fly from that four-point line. Here's another chance at Embiid. Honestly, I wouldn't even mind if I got Drazen. Now, I don't know how much MT he's going for. Hopefully, it's not quick sell value, but the big gem right here, man, is the Embiid. It's the Embiid, and we walk away with even more tokens. Tokens that have been so useless so far if you're no money spent. But we are four games away. Scotty Pippen, you got to stop running away. Let's jump right into the next one. All right, so our next matchup, definitely something a little bit interesting here. 
Emerald Jokic. Emerald, I don't know who that is, but he's got the Larry Bird, which I'm assuming he got from the locker code. Now, he's also got Chris Paul, who I think was a ping diamond with the duo. He's on the mic. I'm not sure what he's saying, but... I'm sorry for how this is going to end. That Jokic is about to get bullied into the ground. Hit that screen. Thank you. Right to Billy. Let me just get in here. If Jokic somehow stops me here, he's the best. It'll drop step. That's an easy bucket. Bill Russell, just have fun with this. That's a steal. Thank you. I'm sorry. I got to do this. I got to do this. The paint mashing Billy. Old school basketball. That's a goaltend. I'll take the bucket. It's funny because I was actually going to miss that. I'm gonna try to get Scotty Pippen hooping. I'm going for the step back. Got him. Stepping back. Oh, the mid range. Gotta utilize that 90s game. Yo, guys, do I have to bring back the Last Dance series? Are people ready for Michael Jordan and Scotty Pippen to roam the streets again? I don't know, man. I don't know. Good defense there. He's gotta throw it somewhere. I definitely do feel bad when I play teams like this because, again, at the end of the day, you just wanna have fun. Low step back. That's Clyde Drexler for a three. Gonna go ahead and knock that down, and pretty safe to say this game is over. Cross it over, step back, oh, four point line. Oh my gosh, Clyde Drexler! He's gotta quit on that note. I am so sorry, I didn't want it to end like that, but Clyde with Hall of Fame Deadeye, I did not realize would be this good. All right, boys, here we go. A big time spin. Joel Embiid, I'm feeling it right here. Is this the one? Nope. Oh, nope. just barely. <laughs> ah, at least I was hoping it would at least stop on the diamond consumables, but MT is MT at this point. We're not really too worried about the contracts because we got so many contracts from playing Domination that I'm just never really going to run out. And a lot of these cards that I'm buying either have diamond contracts like the Bill Russell or they've already got a couple contracts on them because people are trying to juice them up. Either way, guys, three games away from Damian Lillard. Okay, so now we got someone that actually played the draft mode. He's got that ping diamond Andre Drummond. Unfortunately, my boy Bill Russell is just going to be better. Let's get into finessing that pick and roll off the bat. Hit that screen. Is he reading the pop? No, he's not. Draymond Green from the four-point line. My team is feeling comfortable today. Let me try to run a pick and roll with Clyde Drexler. Let's just see how that goes. Hit that. Thank you. All the way to the basket. Nobody's there to stop me. And that's an automatic bucket. Now that Bill Cousy or Bob Cousy, what am I even saying? He's actually a very good card for a budget card. It's just that we don't really need that. We got two free amazing point guards, Conley, Steve Francis. Both are great. Let's get some stops here, man. Good defense. Bill Russell is not allowing the ball to be passed inside. I'm going for the dunk because why not? Oh, that would have been murder. Throw that. Good defense. Oh, I thought that would be a steal. That's unreal. Great stop right there for Draymond, and we don't even get the ball. Steve Francis gets shot right over. And just like that, we're down two, and he's got the full court press. Get down the court, Scotty. There we go. All the way to the basket. Hey! Give me one good screen. Thank you. Oh, he's jumping. Steve Francis for three. Bang! That's a big time possession. You want to run full court press? I'll run it right back. I promise you that. Good defense. I know Scotty's getting that stop. Yeah. We gotta just jump at that Draymond Green. Good defense. Hold it down, Bill. He's gonna go up right away. He's got no choice. Way to get the block. Defensive player of the year type energy. I'm going for the dunk. Why not? I'm telling you, man, Clyde is something else. All right, we're in a jump ball situation. Nine seconds to go. Whoever gets the ball, in my opinion, wins the game. It looks like we're about to win the game. There we go. Right to Clyde. Pump fake. I thought he would jump. I'm going to the basket. Dunk stick. I missed. I missed. Bill Russell misses the dunk. Oh my gosh. What just happened? Whoever wins this wins the game. And we just lost the jump ball. This is so bad. This is going to be a tragic way to go out. This is going to be a tragic way to go out. Good defense. Hands up. And he... No. What did I just watch? What did I just watch? All right. So we're just going to get that bad game out of the way. We're just going to have to lock in now and win this game. Because I don't want to play more games than I have to. Oh, Bill Russell. Just go to the basket. That's an open lane. I'm trying to swing it out for a three. Thank you. Draymond Green. The fact that we almost just turned the ball over while this man isn't playing is crazy. All right, let's keep it moving, man. This guy's definitely not the greatest player. This should be a very easy win. You can see he's just kind of sitting on Scottie Pippen. I could have passed that ball to Draymond Green, but I guess 2K is going to bless me by really putting me up against the bots of bots because that was a tough way to lose, especially to Andre Drummond. Come on, boys. We keep moving. Scotty, right back to Clyde. Dimer, me mama. That's another three. 9-0. Keep it moving. Get it out to Clyde. He's wide open. That's another three. And just like that, we're up 18-0. He's calling timeouts for God knows what reason. I'm honestly going to fast forward to the end because this game's beyond over. 
So, uh, listen, guys, I don't know who gave their little brother the controller, but don't ever do that again. One more three is going down, and we win this game 41 to 0. All right, boys, another shot of Joel Embiid. Where is the sweet spot for Embiid this time? Right there. I'm feeling it. Ooh, just barely. I swear, every time you try to fill the bar when you gotta hit X, that is when you get the most rewarded. That's how I got Embiid the first time, so that's how I'm gonna keep doing it, but two more games, man. Two more. Okay, so this guy's got himself a squad. Bill Russell, Kawhi Leonard, Rudy Gay, Larry Bird, John Wall. I like this. I'm gonna cook it, though, but see ya. Thank you, stopping. Oh, I thought I had enough time to shoot that. That's unfortunate. All right, let me try to lock in here. Get there. Good defense by Draymond. Not drawing the foul. 42%. Oh, all right. I simply just don't understand how that works. Oh, finesse that Clyde Drexler for the four-pointer. He's got Kawhi Leonard on him, and guess what? He's not scared. We're not scared of Kawhi Leonard. Finesse that again. Thank you. Right to Bill. There you go. The pick and pop sauce. Knock down that three. Good defense there by Scotty. The best. Clyde Drexler in transition. I'm going to hop into it. Thank you for jumping. Easy layup right there. And that's a bucket. Just like that, we're up 11 to 5. I'm not scared of any team, man. Pump fake. Let me get a screen. Thank you. Get that screen. Yeah. All the way to the basket. Thank you for the clear lane sitting in the corner. That's not going to do it for you. Good defense. Kawhi Leonard cannot score on Clyde Drexler. And guess what? He costs about 160k MT less. What? He gets a very blessed layup right there. He's gotten a contested shot and a layup. This guy should really only have two points right now. All right, we're going to need a big time three here, man. I don't know where he's sitting, but it's not even going to matter. Clyde, go get open. Around that screen. Dimers. Bang. Good defense there. Clyde in the clutch. Clyde is the best. Guess what? I'm going to stop. Thank you. I'm going to pop. And that's the green I was looking for. I knew he was going to be looking at the other offensive player. I didn't even realize who that was in transition. Look who's got takeover. Stop it. Behind the back. Thank you. I'm going for the dunk. I got takeover. I had to try for it. We're drawing the foul and we got some free throws. This right here is going to be the nail in the coffin. First free throw is going down. And again, I got to say, guys, Clyde Drexler, the best budget guard that I have picked up so far. I know I might be being a little bit biased because this one is a bit more souped up, but he is such a good card. All right, so this right here is going to be the final wheel that we spin before we obtain Damian Lillard. Possibly the final wheel that we spin for this season, unless they add more rewards. But let's hit stop on that bad boy. And it was almost Embiid, almost the consumables. But instead, we're going to end up at the 300 MT. Ladies and gentlemen, our final game of clutch time, at least for today. Okay, up against David Robinson. The last time we played this card, he got a game-winning contested layup on me. He's also got Magic Johnson. That's a card I have not seen in a while. Hit that screen. Thank you. All the way to the basket. Let's go to Billy. We got to take advantage of this. Easy. Drops that. Pump fake. He's in the air. That's an easy layup. All right. We got to figure out how we're going to play this. I got to put Scottie Pippen on Kobe Bryant. That's the only card I'm scared of. I'm not too worried about this magic. Look at that. Good defense. Now we running. Stop it. Pop it. Not a green. But it's a bucket. Come on, man. Let's bring Lillard home. And just like that, our opponent has left the match. I was really thinking it's going to come down to the wire. A game winner for Lillard. That would have been perfect. But hey. I'll take my winnings nonetheless. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, Pink Diamond Damian Lillard has been secured. That's been a journey. It's taken us a lot of episodes to get to this point, and then moving forward, every single win that we get, we end up spinning the wheel. So if we do get bored of Unlimited or TTO, and we want to have some fun in clutch time, we definitely got that chance to spin the wheel for Joel Embiid. But what I'm thinking is since we've now secured Damian Lillard, in the next episode, we hunt for the Paul George possibly even play some more TT offline off camera try and see if I can get a couple more ping diamond John Walls but right now man it's time to bring home our newest point guard the only spot in our lineup that did not have a pink diamond I mean our power forward spot doesn't have it either but y'all know what I mean neither does our center but there is that beautiful glow okay 50 wins of clutch time gets you this let's go ahead and let's reveal this bad boy 96 overall pink diamond from the trailblazers Damien, Dame Time, Clutch Time Lillard is officially home. Now, I've seen a lot of people say this card is great. I've seen a lot of people say he's already outdated because we got a Galaxy Opal Curry. But here's the thing. Not all of us can afford a Galaxy Opal Steph Curry. And Mike Conley, it's been a good run, but... It's officially time to say goodbye. He's even better on defense than Damian Lillard. But you know what? We got Steve Francis for that kind of deal, man. Look at our squad right now. 
the amount of ping diamonds that we have, Ginobili, Karam Butler, we got Cliff Hagen that was free. Our center and power forward position are looking good. The one thing I am looking to change now though is Vucevic. As much as we like Vucevic, I definitely want a really good center off the bench. Maybe I'll give that Evan Mobley a try, but again, he's more of a budget card. I'ma quickly hop into freestyle and see how this card's feeling. Okay, so pretty good hot zones. Oh, he moves fairly quick. The jumper, it's gonna be perfect. That is a perfect jumper. For those of you guys that don't know, Ruby Damian Lillard earlier this year, he was basically running the unlimited streets for a good while because his jumper was great, he moves fast, and unlike Michael Conley, he's actually gonna dunk the ball. A little crossover right there into a flashy dunk. He's gonna be a perfect complimentary teammate to Clyde Drexler. At the end of the day right now, it's Clyde Drexler's team, but who knows, man, maybe Lillard's gonna run it. One thing I do need to check for sure though is what kind of badges he's gonna need because this is likely gonna be a card that's gonna be on the team for a while. And if we're gonna hop into Unlimited and stuff, we gotta make sure you're where, you know, properly loaded up on things. Whether it's badges, whether it's contracts, make sure we got good defense. Cause I am happy that I've got the Scotty Pippen. I'm happy that I got Drexler, Draymond Green, and Bill Russell. I've got a very defensive starting lineup. So to have some offense with Damian Lillard, that's definitely gonna be perfect. Now, one thing I actually forgot to do before I end this episode is there was a locker code for the Pink Diamond Dirk. Because when I started recording this episode, I was like, you know what? I feel like I missed something. We were supposed to talk more about King Dirk for a reason. And that's because we're about to have a chance to pull this man right here. All right, so for those of you guys that haven't seen it, my team and NBA 75 Ping Diamond Dirk. Go ahead and punch that bad boy in if you haven't already. And here's where we get our chance. Now, obviously I want the pack. I highly doubt I'm gonna get a Hall of Fame badge out of that post score one because I haven't gotten one all year. And even if it does end up being a Hall of Fame badge, it's likely gonna be post hooks, but we end up landing in the NBA 75 pack spot. Now, I like these packs a lot because I'm not just chasing Dirk Nowitzki. They've got every single NBA 75 player in there. Aside from the new Galaxy Opals, we got a chance to pull the pink diamond kobe the pink diamond magic johnson you name it they are in these packs the question is can we actually get blessed and unfortunately we definitely cannot Kawhi leonard that's tragic now usually i don't recommend anybody do this but i'm gonna open one more pack here to end the episode we gotta end it off on some kind of good note or some kind of reminder that i just should not be opening packs on the no money spent tell me that's not a sign a holographic version of King Dirk himself. That's got to stay in my collection. Get rid of the regular emerald. That holographic one, I'm, I'm actually going to put him on my team. We just got King Dirk. Definitely not the one we wanted, but hey, it's a holographic. That's to show that he truly is the god, the OG of the No Money Spent series. But uh, that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. The grind is officially done. I'm going to look into what badges Damian Lillard needs. I'm likely going to try to snipe him off camera or on camera, depending on what time I'm recording or not recording. Once again, thank you so much for all the love that you guys have been showing. The comments that you guys have been leaving behind have been great, especially because I haven't been feeling the greatest. They definitely are uplifting and they push me to record more videos. But thank you for tuning in guys if you did enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like and for you new viewers you know you gotta hit that subscribe button and join the blazing nation i want to thank you guys for watching i hope you all have an awesome day and take care